Welcome to Art Thou and Artiste. Yes, I arted. I'm Simina Deeve, visual artiste, luxury comedian, and tripod owner. My tripod and phone has shot almost the entirety of the special. What is the special? Well, it's a showcase of mainly visual artists talking about themselves and also their art, which is an extension of themselves. Now about me. In addition to being a visual artiste, I've been swimming in the dolphin-infested waters of marketing for over a decade. Branding is a big part of being an artist, and I love that. I love capitalism. I love the way it smells. I love just biting into it. I love the way it looks in a basket. Oh, oh, you know what? I was thinking of bread, not capitalism. You can see how I got there. Um, bread, dough, the co-optization of anything sacred and pure. Anyways, time is money. So let's get to our first artist. Welcome to my studio. As you know, I come from a long line of male artists who love to paint beautiful women. Some would say in an objectifying way. However, I have taken an online Zoom course on mainstream liberal feminism for men. And it has changed everything. Before, I was painting exclusively taxi women. But now, I paint sexy women who are empowered. May I say, in interview, lady, you are quite stunningly beautiful. Has anyone ever told you? Oh, they have. Well, don't get too big of a head. Oh wait, too late? Oh, just kidding. Nagging is wrong. And you are very proportionate. I'm going to ask question, and I want enthusiastic consent. May I paint you? What you mean I only paint naked women? Check your facts, just okay looking lady. Sometimes they have shirts, no bottoms, or bottoms, no shirts. My piece titled Five Women Finger Banging, Auga, Auga. They have shoes. Also, since class, I have retitled to Equal Rights Now. For sexy, beautiful women, auga, auga. Which brings me to my next query. May I paint your vagina? Don't answer yet. Look, I have learned so much. My old vagina paintings were from, yes, male gaze. But my new vagina paintings are from an allies gaze. Also, I was saying, believe women underneath my breath as I painted. Anyway, lady who is a amorphous blur to me, I have made one more monumental change. Before, my work was throbbing with phallocentric imagery because I put my penny in the corner of all my paintings. As a... Um, Symbol for, uh, how you say, my horniness for naked women. But now, my authentic penny is a symbol, but for solidarity with you women. Women should be free. Women should have choice. Women can make all the money and wear the makeup. Women can ask out the men and make paella for the men. Women can uh, buy new oil paints and make love with men they just met on tarp on back of painting studio. Which brings me to my most important question. May I paint you sitting on my penny? No! Is that enthusiastic? No? Okay, lady, you are sounding very body negative. Okay, maybe look at your um, internalized misogyny. Okay? Please, you must leave. Please, I must return to my latest piece. Woman pressing her tapas against glass ceiling. Boy, oing, oing, oing. Boy, oing, 
Oi. Você é Violet Guadalá. What's a man got left to do? When he's seen everything, heard everything, drunk. Done, drawn, everything I seen from Main Street to Maple, from East Greenville to Southeast Greenville, from even the farm down by Fairview. Apple, drawn it, banana, drawn it, a ball of fruit, I done drawn it in my sleep for day I was born. Stump, drawn it, little stump, kind of weird, drawn it. This stump, that's a little plant, tipping me off. This here now, wood vagina, drawn it right now. Me looking in the mirror, thinking, who? Is this man drawn it? Ain't nothing left to draw. Please, God, give me a sign that there's something, anything, anything. Without something to draw, what reason do I gotta live? Oh, huh? give me something. Paul, what if you use your imagination to draw? Now, what in the Sam Peck is that imagination? Don't sound godly. You know what? I draw you with your head in the dirt. Cause I wouldn't want your nonsense ideas fertilizing my crops. Look, get out of here, you no good dummy. Get. I said get. I'm getting. I'm getting. You know what? I could draw Bub with that scarf his uh, mama done in him just an hour ago. Real man. This old man still got line of lantern. You could say that artist's brand is country charm and generational abuse. As I've said, luxury comedy is part of my brand. Raw, authentic art is also part of my brand. And you could say berets are also a part of my brand. Here's an artist who shares my penchant for berets, and I support that because there's room for all of us. Le Confession de l'Artiste. All my life, I have wanted to be an artist. But my family, they pushed me towards a more practical profession. I chose the best of both worlds. My medium of choice became chalk. I rose to the ranks to become the premier chalk. Outline artist. I went from crime scene to crime scene. Short, tall, old, fair shape. I outlined them all. I didn't become the preeminent authority on outlining people's dead bodies with chalk overnight. I trained for this for decades. But chalk outline was a dying art. People deemed it not useful. They said it contaminated evidence. I was the last of my kind. Here lies a mademoiselle, stabbed 50 times, left to die in her studio apartment. No friends, no family, her body discovered weeks later by the exterminator, her face eaten by little rats. How tragic that instead of outlining this sad dead lady, I would just be placing a small marker. Like this lady in my dreams were dead. But what was next for me? There was beauty in capturing the fall. It was as if they were posing for death himself. To Jackie, what up? Um, it is uh, Jacqueline. <laughs> I am discussing my art. That is my cousin Simone. He is from Missouri. I'm confused. So are you still like a fucking cop or, or what? Hashtag a cap. Excuse me, I am a premier chuck artist. Isn't that like less than 0.2% of your job though? Being a cop is fucking bullshit anyway. You should quit. Maybe this is the time that I should trade in my gun, my badge, and my police issue chuck and buy my own chuck, create my own poses to outline. But how? Murder? Yes, but who? My cousin Simone? Have you heard him? Kill? human life for us. This is insane. Or is it? The world needs art, but not my cousin Simone. But it is wrong, but I have to. No, I can't, but I must. 
You can do anything. Button, outline, anything? Do anything. Not just outline dead bodies. Lion buttons? Yeah, whatever. Outline yourself. Fill in the outline. Use the chalk and play tic-tac-toe. But this was all I knew. This was my reality. La fin. Okay, full disclosure, all the artists are going to be me in different costumes and wigs. Because a third of my brand is authenticity, it was one third killing me that I wasn't being straight with you. Speaking of straight, here's a very straight woman artist. Terry was tired of her job, her marriage, the city of dishes overrun, tired of her 40-year-old unemployed live-in son. When Terry had time, of which there was little, she painted a cottage with a porch where she'd whittle. To live in the painting was Terry's wish. Instead of dealing with any of this, shish kebab, alkazam, biddle de diddle de doo bindi masala, abracadabra, and some more gobbledygook, with some suspiciously convenient magic and a bit of a swirl. For the first time in her life, tired Terry done did a twirl. <laughs> What's this? Fresh air? No honks? No labor? No gloom? A home cleaned by an anthropomorphic broom? I don't know about this Disney shit. Her back unknotted, her soul derotted. She began to notice a woman quite besotted. It was the other figure she painted, not super well. But Sherry was kind, and Terry's heart swelled. They skipped, they dipped, they volleyed. For the first time in her life, Terry got her jollies. But the son and the husband needed Terry for their physical and emotional chores. Though she leaped in the bushes, they saw her later erotically sharing s'mores. They chanted, they chanted, try she did to resist. Terry found herself back in their midst. She never felt so alone. She thought of her cottage, her love, her newly awakened erogenous zone. Fuck this. Fuck this, she said, and out she went. There's cottages not far and life to be spent. This old candle had been lit aflame. Terry would find happiness outside the frame. Happy Pride from Windsor Newton Paints. Windsor Newton Paints. We unequivocally condemn heterosexuality. And from the literal cottage industry, go be gay in a cottage. I lied. She's bi. Cool wig, right? I bought it on Amazon, so I don't feel great about it. Anyways, the next artist is a graphic designer. But this in no way draws from my many years of experience as a graphic designer. I'm Bimmy, and I'm a graphic designer. I'll be discussing some early projects that got me to where I am today. My first notable job was a poster for the number one roller rink in the tri-state area. Fun! I was so excited. You know, they say graphic designers are just artists who have sold their soul. But here was a chance to make some real art. The client wanted an illustration of the original owner, Professor Dispo, skating around with a lighter in one hand and high-fiving a diverse group of roller skaters with the other, with some text that said, get lit. I thought to myself, that sounds pretty corny. And also, didn't this guy burn down the roller rink after the passing of racial integration laws? Well, client's always right. So I made it. Actually, Drew Professor Disco is the one on fire. But still, it didn't go over well. I was pretty bummed. Then one day, I got a call on my landline from a Russian number. The client wanted a trifold brochure for a horse farm mm -hmm. and an illustration of a man riding a horse. He was described as bursting with testosterone, down to earth, and with Adonis physique, if Adonis was too busy running a country. I thought to myself, this sounds like Vladimir Putin, but I made it. Turns out, the farm was a place where they fed horses to gay dissenting journalists, and then fed the journalists to different horses. The trifle brochure was an intimidation tool. I 
was pretty bummed. But then I got an email from a demon named Fessel. His boss needed a designer for a new dating app. I thought to myself, this is the line. The high flying world of graphic design is just too capitalistic, too embedded in oppressive structures, too unclean. What if I could just make things for causes I believe in? But then Bezel offered me a lot of money. So I made it. I pushed my no-no thoughts all the way down. Then God reached out because he saw the work I did for Satan. He wanted cards that just said, my bad, no explanation given. I made it. In exchange, he connected me to the biggest brands on earth. No more bigots, dictators, or demons for me. Only legitimate brands. And that's how I came to work with Facebook. Do I sound conflicted about what I do for a living? Because I'm not. <laughs> And I definitely do not spend every ding-dong day fantasizing about leaving this whole rat race and chill out behind for a house by the lake in New Zealand, in the outskirts, with a painting studio and a wooden metal shop. That's stupid. I love money and money loves me, so. Here's an artist that went from starving to harvin lots of money. Artists, artists have their niche. Splatter, lines, pictures of quiche. They create it over and over again, punching their ticket to money and fame. Oh, what could be my thing? I wonder what hasn't been done by an artist, I ponder. The beginning. One day I was punching the air. I looked down, I saw my elbow there. Elbows, it came to me. Elbows, I'll paint elbows, see? Artists have done bodies, faces, buns, but no one has yet to call shotgun on elbows. I do a quick Google search around. Eureka, no elbow artist to be found. So I produce, I produce. Find a muse to amuse. Neighbors, elbows? Idris elbows. Okay. Broken elbows. Ouch. Elbows. Ah. Rise. Gallery shows every week. NFTs. Yeah, you know me. MacArthur Grant. Untold riches. I did it all with my elbow bitches. Which is what I call all my unpaid artist assistants who do all the elbows now. Because I'm too famous. Ah. The fallout. You've changed, you've changed. Copious drugs, no penny left to my name. Wondering will I ever feel joy anew? I sit down at my desk and draw a cockatoo. Birds, yeah, it's been done, but birds. Birds are just fun. Posted it, 35 liked it, working as a park ranger now so I can draw more birds. The end. Okay, so I was wondering, how do I get some heat on my art? I know my work is good, but nothing was happening. So I gathered a bunch of my doppelgangers from different realities, and I thought, that's gotta help my odds. But then it became the sort of pseudo multiplicity situation where each copy I pulled into my world was a crappier and crappier artist. Like the first one. She was from a googly eye dimension. All she did was take my illustrations and slap googly eyes on them. Her Instagram already has 10 times as many followers as mine. Then I got a visit from me from a steampunk future. She only draws the actors from the show Half and Half. Yeah, so I guess she's from a future where they moved on from general 90s nostalgia to very specific early odds UPN Monday Night lineup based nostalgia. Then there's this underworld doppelganger. They took some gifts of corgis and sold them as NFTs. So now I'm a multi-millionaire of corgis. And then there's the last one. I'm not sure what the difference between us really is, except she's always on her phone and I think she has slightly bigger boobs. And she never posts art. So yeah, she has the most followers out of all of us. Anyways, help me dispose of all the doppelganger slash evidence. I'm not sharing any of the money. Okay, thanks. You know, something about you, I trust. Yes. I thought I'd give you a peek behind the curtain and show you some of my personal art. I was going through something. I was going through something. This one's pink and features my stuffed monkey and is in no way tied to any trauma whatsoever. 
Anyway, the title is um, Flora Papa. Book! This one's abstract. Abstract art. Hide your thoughts with abstract art. What up? I'm God or Andrew. I go by both. All right. Okay, listen. So, your mom, your dad, your grocer, you. I made that out of the billions of people from the dawn of time, you know? I did that, yeah. And overall, I gotta say, um, I fucked up. I just like lucked into this job, you know? I did delegate. Guys, Kanal over there, aka G Dog, she made all the parts people really like, like uh, trees, rivers, dinosaurs, you know? But then I went and made all these bum ass humans. No offense. Also, real talk to the females. Extra my bad. Also, I thought it would be like really cool if you guys came in different colors. But y'all couldn't handle that neither. So yeah, I fucked up. I made y'all like low-key self-absorbed, high-key, dumb as hell. But not your fault. Made you in my image, you know? So again, my bad. But we can all agree. I did really nail elbows, yeah? All right? Yeah. Okay, well, I gotta go. I just got hired to do uh, the species on a even bigger planet, okay? Making big moves. So anyways, good luck to you. You know, good luck with them and everything, <laughs> all right? See you when you're dead. Peace. Now, I'm a proud, round-headed American. What I also am is an equally proud Bangladeshi immigrant. What's so great about this country is there's such a rich tapestry of otherness that's now pretty marketable. If you're diverse like me, maybe you'll enjoy this new artist opportunity that's sure to lay your pathway to success. Snow Valley Artist Residency, an eight-week intensive to live and collaborate with other artists in Upper, 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 Upper New York. For the past several decades, we awarded these grants to other white people, and we were pretty cool with that. But Snow Valley is very recently very much about inclusivity. BIPOC, differently able, are you gay? because that would be great for us. At Snow Valley, we're looking for new, diverse voices because we hear that's what's in now. If you write the word diaspora anywhere in your application, we will literally cream our pants. We want your unique stories, but not too unique. Ideally, something we've heard about so we don't feel ignorant when you talk about it. Do not make us feel bad about ourselves. We are soft, white people. And we will cut you via strongly worded email. Sharon can gaslight you into oblivion, so don't make us CC her, okay? Anyways, have you been through trauma? Let us explore that. Your pain is now marketable. I mean important, so important. At Snow Valley, all we ask above all is you make us look good or we will launch a nuke of an email from our dress folder. Do you have experience making white people comfortable? Because that's the only kind of minority we can honestly handle. Any hint of aggression will be retaliated. Our resident muscle Chasen has what you call long email energy. You don't want to read all that. Trust us. So join us, won't you, at Snow Valley, where your stories are our stories. Let us empower you to empower us. Give us your diverse souls. Sounds like great exposure. Hi, I'm Tinsley Tinsley, and I actually do all the creepy sketches in horror movies. You know when you find a child's drawings and it's all charcoal smears and demons with long fingers? That's me. Well, I wanted to make something a bit more me, you know, bubbly and not so dark. I wanted to put a smile on a child's face for once. So I made a real children's book. It's about a curious little bunny named Bunsy Bunsaway who wants to be an artist. 
the publishers didn't quite get it. Like that's why there was so much blood. But clearly this is, this is raspberry marmalade. Bunsley loves marmalade. Maybe I'll try my hand at honeycomb. I could only get a niche and quite dodgy clientele to be honest. So I thought to myself, Tinsley, you've made so much coin just off the insidiousness alone. Why don't you do something for charity? So I sent about a hundred cards and goodies to the local children's hospital slash orphanage. The orphans all defenestrated themselves. The doctors said they could handle being chronically ill and being utterly alone, but they didn't want to live in a world where a mind like mine could exist. Well, I guess mummy will be happy. She always said, Tinsley, don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the Babadooks and the drawings of demon rape that you're used to. This one um, jumped out and bought. This is the part of the show where I draw a member of the viewing audience while I sing. Art thou an artist? Yes, I know I is. Pardon the grammar, it runs like hammer. Remember when you could put a hammer or a toilet bowl in a gallery and it was part of the found object movement? What was that all about? Oh, that's art, 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 baby, that's art. But I'm, but, but, art thou an artist? Yes, I know I is. I'll draw your mama and my, my trauma. For art, 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 baby, for art. But I'm, but, but. Voila, it's me. I'm the lucky audience member. Hi, Samin. Who could that be? A dangerous woman. She paints with a knife, she howls in the night, she's a lone wolf. She swims with sharks, she hits her mark, she's single and not looking. Sorry, chorus here? What do you mean, That's not weird. looking? That's weird. She's in no rush, she doesn't want kids. Dangerous woman. She serves no man, no god, no father. But she serves a cat? Like, this type of woman always has a cat. Nope. Not even in the hat. What a deal! What's her deal? Plays with fire. She walks on wire. She lives in a house that she owns. She prepares her much older sugar daddy pays for it. Nope. Body with money she earns. Look, it doesn't take much for a woman to be considered dangerous. She likes how she looks. Oh, why? She only gets why? lost in her books. Okay. She never suggests lunch unless she means it. Hold on. She only says what she means? She's not here to please. A dangerous woman. Okay, but she's unhappy. Relatively content, eight hours at night, no drugs, what no drinks. It? What's her weakness? She's scared of roller rings. She hates herself, secretly. She's always loved herself, dangerously. I get it. Her okay. life must have been great. Yeah. Nailed it. Negativo. With a lot of hate. Then she's closed off. Ice queen. Impenetrable. Super mean? Friendly. Open. She'll gift you a painting if you're extra nice. A dog killer? A sea witch? There's just something about her I don't like. Yep. Fuck this bitch. Fuck you too. I know I've rolled the credits. But I wanted to end my comedy haha -ha fun time special with a slow, desperate, sad song. I hear people like that sort of thing. Now that the show is ending, there's one thing left needs tending. Cause art's got a price, honey And I gotta end this line with money So consider, consider If you've got 
the means all shamelessly quite shamelessly you can't shame me cuz I'm shameless you see I ask for what I need then I want you to who then mo me then mo I mean it'd be pretty cool if you'd then mo me at Simon dash a div thank you you're welcome and good night